What's a movie that you expected to be terrible, but actually ended up liking? How to Train Your Dragon I was going through a rough time and a couple of my friends organized a trip to the cinema. There was nothing on that anyone wanted to watch so we just decided on How to Train Your Dragon. Because it was a kid's film and wouldn't require any great effort to follow. It's now one of my favorite films with an absolutely outstanding soundtrack. The whole trilogy is so good. Pixar gets a lot of love but I think HTTYD is right up there with the best Pixar films. For sure. Kung Fu Panda is surprisingly good as well. Mean Girls. I saw it in theaters when it first came out. I thought it was going to be just a silly high school rom com your boy. Was I wrong? Same. I begrudgingly watched it with my then-girlfriend. Assuming it was a chick flick. Not a day goes by where I don't quote at least one line from the movie at her. Yelling, get in loser. We're going shopping. When I pull up to pick her up is a personal favorite. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I was expecting a stupid movie aimed for toddlers. I was wrong. So wrong. Guardians of the Galaxy. Didn't know what it was but the missus wanted to watch it. What a fucking film, too. Galaxy Quest expected it to completely make fun of nerds and Star Trek fans. Instead the filmmakers showed that they knew that kind of person and respected the monsieur. The first Jumanji remake. Jack Black channeling that cheerleader chick was beyond amazing. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. I fully expected it to be a dumb spoof horror movie. But it was actually hilarious and pretty well put together. Hot Tub Time Machine. Don't judge me. That movie is way better than it should be. Such a dumb premise but the actors just killed it. The Lego Movie. How does a movie about Legos make people wanna cry? It blew my mind. God it's so funny. I was like this with the Lego Batman movie more. But it's now one of my favorites. Kingsman. Thought the trailer looked shite. My mom dragged me to see it. Most fun I've had in the cinema for a while. Office Space. My friend and I were planning to see a different movie. But it was sold out when we showed up. Office Space was the only other movie around the same time at that cinema. We were like whatever. I still remember walking out after and both of us saying that was surprisingly good. Right. Quote. Worked in a bank one summer. This movie is a documentary. I, like many people at the time, thought Starship Troopers was going to be complete garbage. Never even planned to see it. But a few years after it came out I ended up watching it for some reason. The low expectations made the greatness of the movie that much better when I finally saw it. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. One of my favorite, who am I kidding basically my favorite of the new Star Wars movies. Baby Driver. I thought it was just going to be some over the top action movie without much of a storyline. Thought it was going to be a Fast and Furious type film but I was surprised. They deliver all these great action sequences but the story is also incredible. You really feel for baby and you are on the edge of your seat concerned the whole time. Excellent film this year also is probably Kevin Spacey's last movie. I was surprised by how good Idiocracy was when it came out because the premise sounded awful. I certainly didn't expect it to become reality a decade later. It's like a documentary. Seriously with all the anti-science. Anti-vaccine. Burning 5G towers and claiming Bill Gates is the devil. We are not far from that reality. Fight Club. Thought it was just going to be some testosterone junk. Pleasantly surprised. Jojo Rabbit. It was surprisingly heartwarming and really funny. I expected that film to be funny and shallow. I didn't expect an extremely hilarious but still powerful movie that made me cry all the way home. John Wick. Watched the first few min and didn't get hooked in. Ended up watching the entire movie a few days later when I got bored and oh boy. I finished the franchise that one night. Two Leap to Mind. Edge of Tomorrow. I didn't know about that book. I thought I was just one of those what if we make less than film a greater than plus less than film be greater than things. In this case, Groundhog Day plus something like Starship Troopers. 
I also don't like Cruise most of the time. But somehow it is an amazing film as you're like one of my favorite action flicks. The other, Detective Pikachu. When I heard they were making that film I literally head asked. Then the trailer came and I went, what the hell? That looks kinda good. Saw it and it was a pretty good film as you're not just as a Pokemon film. Hell is a Pokemon film it was a masterpiece. But as any kind of film monsieur, these are honestly the two films I most agree with of everything I have seen in this thread. The Emperor's New Groove, for some reason as a kid I disliked it, but I rewatched it last year and now I can see that it's actually perfect. Deadpool, without any context on the character and low expectations from Ryan Reynolds thought it would be kind of meh, oh, how wrong I was. Happy Death Day. I was expecting a run-of-the-mill slasher that would satiate my Halloween spirit. But it turned out to have a surprising amount of depth. Jessica Roth was amazing as the lead, especially considering the way her character developed from a one-note stereotype into an increasingly frustrated and fragile survivor. The sequel didn't really build enough on the foundation set by the first film to surpass it, but was also enjoyable. Guardians of the Galaxy. I was shocked that a movie featuring a gunslinging raccoon and a talking tree could be so entertaining. It's one of my favorite Marvel movies now. I'm trying to figure out your thought process here. Were you thinking something like, this takes place in space and has an anthropomorphic raccoon who is fond of shooting things? This will not be entertaining. More like, I get this is fiction and all but come on. A raccoon and a tree as superheroes? I thought the premise sounded dumb. But I'm happy to say the movie proved me to be very wrong in my initial impression. Despicable me. I agree the first one is genuinely good but then the minions took over like the parasites that they are. Sherlock Holmes with Robert Downey Jr. I saw the trailer and thought an ass-kicking Sherlock was going to be awful. Two minutes into the movie. Once I saw how they were going to do it, I was all about it. I also love action, comedy, Victorian period pieces, and I am not a big Jude Law fan but I thought his casting is a bit rough around the edges. Military Vet Doctor was great. Tremors. Seemed like a ridiculous premise but was highly entertaining. The Family Ties father turned gun nut was off-putting at first but quickly turns around. When I saw the first trailer for Paddington I thought it was going to be horrible. Looked like another bottom of the barrel. Not even trying to be decent kids movie. But, then I heard rumblings that it was actually pretty good. And then that it was actually pretty great. Took the kids to go see it one weekend and was amazed at how good it was. We saw it several times. Then, when the sequel was announced we were certain that there was no way it could be anywhere near as good as the first one. We were right. It wasn't as good as the first one. It was better. It tops the first one in almost every way. Which is not an easy thing since the first one was near perfect on its own. If there is a third Paddington movie, by the same people, I will be there on day one. Tropic Thunder. On paper it sounded very mad and I didn't expect it will elicit so much laughter. Napoleon Dynamite. Hell yeah, this is one of my dad's favorite movies. And we've been watching it together since I was little. He can quote almost the entire thing. Star Wars I didn't think I'd like Star Wars. Turns out I love it. You've now learned the secrets of the high ground. Kung Fu Hustle. Had no idea what was about and looked stupid AF. But that is one smart, funny, self-aware movie with some badass action too. Slumdog Millionaire. It went from being a UGHHH I don't wanna watch this shit to the yay it's not that expensive on Amazon. Quote, Romy and Michelle's high school reunion. Clueless. If I'd known it was written by one of the world's most celebrated 19th century novelists I might have entered into the enterprise with a bit more enthusiasm in the first place. Instead of slowly embarrassing myself in front of the family with watery eyes and unshakable in rapture in what I was expecting to be an average chick flick, they did a good job. Django, 
My husband insisted on watching it with me when we were dating. I had written it off as a dick flick with zero depth. Then I watched it and now I love everything about it and want Christoph Waltz to be miniaturized and put on my shoulder to say charming things in an Austrian accent. Fried Green Tomatoes Based on the ad campaign expected something else. Fight Club Terrible marketing campaign Excellent movie Taken I didn't see Liam Neeson as a badass throat puncher and was pleasantly surprised. Moana Almost every Adam Sandler movie. I learned to keep a very low expectation about him and be pleasantly surprised. Water Boy is one of my favorite comedy because of this. Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore are two of my favorites from him. I also love Big Daddy and I'm sorry, Mr. Deeds. My wife and I still enjoy 50 First Dates. Bumblebee. After so many clusterfucks had little hope that a Transformers movie would be good, but it was a really good movie. Also, John Cena is actually quite decent. After watching Bumblebee in True Grit 2010, I want to see Haley Steinfeld join the MCU as Kate Bishop. Coyote Ugly and Pitch Perfect Thought they'd both be trash but was surprised. Great movies to watch late at night with friends. Brokeback Mountain. I wasn't expecting to be so moved by it as a straight male but when I finally got around to watching it I found the movie really emotional. It's one of the very few films that actually made me feel sad. It's a brilliant film monsieur. Alita, Battle Angel. What the Ghost in the Shell movie should have been. The comics are amazing. I am not a manga person but after seeing the Alita trailer I devoured them. I work at a bookstore so had instant access. Holy shit, even better than the movie. They packed so much into the film this year there's also a two-part anime on YouTube. Look for it? Look for the Japanese one with subtitles. The comics are excessively violent and way more in-depth. Dread. I had seen it on Netflix or Hulu or somewhere similar for a while years ago. But skipped over it every time. I'm not big into comic book movies. Never read Judge Dredd. The one with Stallone was corny as hell. And I had heard absolutely nothing about this one. So, I just assumed it was a cheap C-level reboot, and had no desire to see it. Well, one night, I was bored as hell. Nothing else looked good and or I had seen most everything I had wanted to. Dredd came back, and I said, fuck it, I'll give it a shot. I fully expected to turn it off halfway through. Turns out, not only was it a badass film, but it's one of my favorite comic-based films and just one of my favorite action films of the last decade period. Dread is fucking awesome, and I highly recommend it to this day. Yes, it was amazing. Blade Runner 2049. I thought it would be horrible like most late sequels, but it was really good. Speed Racer got slammed by critics and is one of the biggest box office flops of all time. And for the life of me I can't imagine why. It is tons of fun. Right, my friend works in a movie theater and one night invited me to watch this after hours with her and some other friends because it would look awesome on the big screen. It was great. I absolutely love it. The IRL remake of Aladdin. I thought it was literally the same thing as the first one but it was surprisingly different. Yeah, and Will Smith really did well as the genie. He had big shoes to fill and he made it his own. Yeah I was pleased that they actually had some differences. After watching the Beauty and the Beast remake, which was basically a shot for shot reenaction, I was really surprised by all the character changes. Also. I love that they included the fact that the actor playing Aladdin is an incredible dancer. I googled him while the never had a friend like me scene was happening because I was so shocked. And I thought maybe they used a stand-in, nope. That dude is super talented. Solo. A Star Wars story. After the disaster that is the new trilogy. I expected super trash. What I got was a refreshingly simple action adventure in space. Asterisk exactly what I was looking for in the first place. Asterisk, I agree with that. I didn't have much of an expectation for Solo and was pleasantly surprised. 
I called the plot halfway through and still found it enjoyable. Donald Glover absolutely killing it as Lando is what did it for me. It made me think that the movie was supposed to set up for a Lando spin-off sequel movie but after it didn't do as well as the others and Disney backed off I think that plan got dashed. What a shame. I didn't have high expectations for Solo either, but I just had so much fun watching it. It reminded me a lot of Anne in that respect. It was just a lot of fun, and I felt like that was a part of SW that had been forgotten. Donald Glover was amazing. I thought Woody Harrelson played his character well too. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.